Well, nearly two weeks before many students are back in the classroom, Iowa educators are having to adapt. It's after the courtroom battle over a controversial Iowa education law saw another step last week. Local 5's Dana Searles has been following this and joins us now. Dana, how are the schools navigating these next steps? Well, Stephanie, school districts are pretty much back to square one when it comes to compliance with the law. Now, remember, this is the law that removes books from school libraries depicting sex acts and regulations regulates discussion over gender identity and some claim there has been confusion every step of the way. School bells will ring across Iowa in just a couple weeks, but as preparations are already underway, schools are forced to take on more tasks. That's because three federal appeals judges lifted the block on Iowa's 2023 education law. There was a general sense of disappointment that um, so close to the beginning of the school year, we're head out, heading again into a whole bunch of unknown questions. Before the injunction, school districts claim they were navigating the implementation of it with little guidance. This resulted in schools removing books and making changes that received backlash, claiming there could be some unintended consequences. We're let, telling our members not to um, overreact and not to try and not to start removing everything that that might be questionable or might have any problems from themselves. Ankeny School District says it will capitalize on the work completed in 2023 when this law first took effect. The Johnson Community School District is also picking up where it left off removing books, while Des Moines Public Schools, along with others according to ISEA, are working with the district's legal counsel. And ISEA says we could expect to see similar actions schools took before the law was blocked. I think that's where districts are kind of forced to be is they they were left off before the injunction. They were um, trying to figure this out without guidance and now they're doing the same again. ISEA says its hope is that teachers continue doing what they need to do and not worry about this law, advising teachers to listen to their district administration. Stephanie. 